also going to attempt a lash lift. Oh my god, it's the perm lotion that smells of fart. David just said it looks like I've got conjunctivitis. And he's not wrong. He's not wrong. <laughs> Hello and good morning from uh, me and all my new quarantine friends. We're having a great time as you can tell. I thought it's about time that I do another transformation video. A DIY transformation video like I did last time. My intention was to go and get things done in like salons, nail shops, da 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 da. But due to the lockdown restrictions, um, it looks like that's not gonna happen. So we're gonna try, we're gonna attempt to DIY, but we're gonna attempt doing stuff that you would usually get done in a salon at home. All I can say is I'm scared. Yeah, that is about all I can say. So, first on the list is brow lamination. I have to say my heart is beating very fast. I have wanted to try this for a long time now. As you guys know, I do my brows with soap and it kind of gives that lamination look, but it does look a bit stiff and I'd love for my eyebrows to just be like bushy when I wake up and look thicker and cute and kind of sit how I want them to sit. I'm also gonna attempt a lash lift. I thought I'd just throw that one in last, just for the shock value. I'm gonna put those little weird plastic things on my eyeball, eyelid, eyelid? I don't know how you do it. I'm gonna try. Hopefully I'm not blind by the end of this. That would be the worst thing to come out of self-isolation is just me blinding myself. <laughs> anyway, let's get it started. So this is the kit that I'm gonna be using. I found it on Amazon and it was pretty cheap. Let's see what's inside. If it does work, it, you know, it works out a lot cheaper because I think a lash lift and having your brows laminated costs quite a lot if you're doing that all together in a salon or something. So hopefully this goes well. Right, so these are the things that I'm <laughs> so nervous about. Don't look at my nails either, guys. Those are gonna get fixed also. These freak me out so much. How are you supposed to do that yourself? I don't really know how this is gonna work. I've had my eyelashes tinted and permed before and it didn't really look any different, but I do use Lilash now so my lashes are longer. So hopefully we'll see something happening. Hopefully I don't have an allergic reaction. Could you imagine just hitting them brows too? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's gonna fry my Okay, okay, it's gonna be fine. Oh my God. Okay, I got this, this is fine. Everything's gonna be okay. You can definitely see up my nostrils. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but we have lift off. Can you imagine if this worked? This would be so sick. Oh my God, I feel like a professional, guys. Wow. It's like hair removal cream, but worse. Wow, imagine I could actually do this myself at home. I'm gonna start charging. Oh my god, this is the really weirdest better. thing. Okay, so we're gonna do one and then we'll be able to see the difference between before and after, which is quite cool. Hopefully I've put enough lotion on. Okay guys, step one is done. I don't know if I've done an awful job or a decent job, but we'll see. Okay, I don't know if you guys can tell a difference, but one is shook. What? I, I, so I'm gonna do the other eye, and then I'm gonna go on to the brows. Let's do this, baby. Whoa. What? Wait. That is so mad. I'm in shock. I can't believe this, guys. They just do what you want them to now, and they look more fluffy and bushy, which is crazy. I can't believe I've successfully done that, guys. What's up? So seeing as I'm about to jump into the hair segment of the video, I thought it would only be right to talk about today's sponsor, Perfecto. Let's just talk about it. If you guys follow me on Instagram already, you'll know that I've been raving about them. I've been working with them for a couple of months now. I think I've been taking them for probably seven or eight weeks now. And you guys, my hair, you'll see it yourself. My hair is looking longer, stronger, thicker, healthier, shinier. And aside from my kind of new healthy hair care routine, which I've been doing for quite a while now, longer than I've been taking these, this is the only thing that's changed that could be affecting my hair and, you know, promoting healthy hair and health, hair growth. I take two a day. They come in these delicious heart-shaped little gummies. They're so easy to incorporate into your daily routine because it's kind of like a little treat. It's not like you're forcing yourself to swallow pills or anything. Um, so I've been taking two a day for like seven to eight weeks now. And you guys, my hair is looking so good. I'm very excited about it. Thank you so much to Vitabiotics for first of all sponsoring this video. Secondly, for introducing me to these hair crush gummies. I also want to invite you guys to join me on the hair crush rush challenge. If you guys are interested, all you have to do is get your gummies, take them for six weeks and show us your progress results using the hashtag. Please join in. It's so much fun to kind of keep track of your results and see the final result as well. 
So anytime I wash my hair now, I've actually gone back to doing pre-poo treatments with oil and that starts with brushing my hair out to make sure it's tangle free. Excuse all the product build up. I know my hair looks crusty, but you know, I gel it back a lot. Oh, we've got a visitor introducing Nell for those of you guys that don't follow my vlog channel. I got another puppy and she is proper mischievous and naughty, but we love her. Anyway, back to the hair. I like to use any oils that have pipettes or like I make my own blend, for example, in this bottle and it's got a nozzle so it's really easy to apply to my scalp and it kind of helps break up, build up and, you know, moisturize and prep your hair for shampoo which is quite drying so i like to massage that into my roots and then brush it through to my ends just to make sure my the ends of my hair are getting some extra nourishment as well guys look how long my hair is looking i can't i can't believe it i actually can't believe it so then the second step, which I think has made a difference as well, is I've bought a vibrating head massager. And what this does is it actually forces all the blood to kind of rush to your scalp. So you get this like lovely tingling feeling as well as with the oil, because I use certain oils that make your hair, your scalp tingle. But um, yeah, it just makes all the blood rush to your scalp, which is really good at promoting hair growth. So after that, I literally just put some more oil on the ends of my hair, tie it up, and then I put a plastic bag around it and a bonnet on top and this just helps to keep the heat insulated which you know makes it work better we have a visitor she's getting so big so quickly now do you want a facial you don't like anything on your face do you okay bye this little contraption i found on amazon i feel like it was about 20 pounds if that maybe like 17 pounds i'm not really sure and it comes with this little uh extraction kit which i'm very very excited about i love a good spot squeeze but I feel like I've got a build up of um like blackheads and bumpy skin um and just a bit of congestion like in my chin around my nose and my pores are quite open here so I want to see if we can tackle that I'm expecting a bit of redness but hopefully my skin will be a lot clearer like tomorrow the first thing I'm going to do is steam and then shave I do like uh what's it called dermaplaning is like the technical term for it just get rid of all the peach fuzz and it also um gets rid of all the like top layer of dead skin that you have on your face so you look fresh and your skin just looks really clear so i'm going to steam shave steam extract and then do some facial stuff facial stuff this feels so nice this is just going to kind of soften up the skin and open up my pores so it's just easier to get in there and get everything out easier to shave but also it will help with product absorption and adding moisture to your skin apparently so now that my skin softened up a little bit i'm going to shave it i got this off of amazon nelly I got this pack of razors off of Amazon. They're just brow razors. I personally wouldn't recommend these ones. I think they're quite cheap. I will link these ones because you get a lot for a very good price. But I'll also link other ones that I like more because I don't love these ones, but they are really good for the price. I would also recommend watching videos on how to do this because I'm not gonna be the best at explaining it, but you have to be careful because these razors are very sharp, so you don't want anything to go wrong. I do my whole face just because it makes my skin look so much more clear. I've got peach fuzz, but it's a little bit darker than usual, so it gives me like a shadow on my face. I basically hold my skin tight. The razor has to be at a 45 degree angle and just really gently, in the direction of their hair just kind of do small movements like this and get rid of that peach fuzz you see that there's peach fuzz and i've also started doing my sideburns so that's why they look so straight right now because that was a decision that i made as an afterthought was to actually kind of fix up my hairline a little bit so this hair is still a lot thicker than the rest of the hair that i've been doing ipl on my face for and by the way guys the IPL was working amazingly honestly it has been life changing for my face especially because I've been a bit lazy with my legs and stuff and this is where we really neaten up the brows as well so I'm going to actually brush them downwards just to make sure I don't take off what I want to leave and see they really cooperate now which is amazing so I'm just kind of doing my brows to just kind of create a neat line at the top as well but I've brushed them down first so that I don't trim any hairs that I don't want to actually be trimmed get rid of all of this as well 
I don't know if you can see a difference, but this side's a lot more smooth and clear. I don't know if you can tell. So now we are on to round two of facial steaming. I just really want to emphasize with the extraction that's coming next you guys that you don't want to press too hard on your skin because you can leave dark marks and scars. You just want to push down with a bit of pressure so that anything that's ready to come out will come out. When applying the products after the facial, I like to be really gentle with my skin, so I just kind of lightly push the product in first and massage my skin as gently as I can. And I also do some facial techniques that I learned years ago when I um, had a facial with Liz Earl, just to help reduce like puffiness and kind of emphasize the contours of your face. Honestly you guys, I legit could not believe how much fresher I looked after just taking care of my skin, brows and lashes. With that being said, let's get on to these crusty ass nails. So before doing anything, I made sure to soak my nails in warm, salty water. And then of course the first thing I'm going to do is just deal with the shape because they are a mess. But guys, my nails are growing really thick and strong and I feel like maybe that's to do with the Perfectil hair gummies as well. So. Um, yeah, after doing all of the shaping and stuff, I'm just going to deal with my cuticles, but be careful you guys because I hurt myself doing this, so please just be very, very careful. After that, we're going to smooth out the nail to prep them for the gels so that the gels will have something to adhere to. And then after that, it's on to the fun part, which is putting the colour down. I just want to mention as well that it's really important to use the UV lamp after every layer of colour that you put down, otherwise it just congeals, that's the best way I can put it, it just goes into like a weird like clump on your nail, so you have to use the lamp in between each layer of paint. For decoration I went for some floral transfers and some gold tape just because I thought they had quite a kind of typically spring vibe and it's quite different for me I don't usually go for like girly floral nails I don't really do my nails that much at all I have like periods where I love having my nails done and periods where I'm like oh I can't be bothered but yeah just some transfers and some gold tape can really take your nails to the next level that was a little bit tricky and I did end up using some nail glue for it but yeah I think the end result was lovely so I'm super happy that I took the time to go that little little step further with my nails Now for the hair and makeup guys. 
I'm using colour contacts for trying something new slash old. I used to wear contacts a lot when I was younger, fun fact. So overnight I decided to do some curl formers. Like I said in the intro, if you want more information on how I did that, I can do a more in-depth video. But this is the result and it is incredible. I'm just using some oil on my hands to undo them just to kind of prevent any frizz because we want to keep them curls popping. And as you guys can see, they are popping. Isn't this amazing? Heatless curls for afro hair slash really curly hair. Um, no damage. I'm, I'm obsessed. So I'm just going to pin curl, like kind of pin up the front curls out of my face and to hold the curl and move on to my makeup. But first, a little bit more oil, obviously. <laughs> I've already done my base makeup but before any makeup routine I always make sure to add lilash this has grown my lashes tremendously you guys anyway I'm gonna stop banging on now and I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the makeup part of the video and um, the final reveal all products will be linked down below but in the meantime just prepare yourselves for a transformation you guys <laughs> Thank you so much for spending your time with me and watching this video i hope it inspired some of you or i just hope that you enjoyed it and it eased some of your anxiety until the next video bye